Hi y'all, this is Deidre here with Deidre's Daily Dreamer coming at you with a new video. If you like this video, please click like, subscribe, and share this video with family and friends as I'm trying to grow my channel. And today is Weight Loss Wednesday, and today is a weight loss update video i've been promising you one and so i thought i would go ahead and do it uh the weight loss updates may get um may start being every other week even though i will still have a weight loss video for weight loss wednesday just because my weight is not changing in a positive direction at this time and i don't want to just put a weight gain video up every week and um pretty much i'm weighing every two weeks right about now so um that's one reason why my update videos will probably start being every other week. Although I will still have a weight loss Wednesday video every week. And so with the housekeeping out of the way, let's get into the update. So the update is going to be in a little bit different format. It's going to follow a little bit like it normally does. But then there will be certain sections where I don't have an uh, very much information for and I will be sharing a story um, to explain my update so I've been reading my word of the year and my word of the year is perseverance a continued effort to do or achieve something despite difficulty failure or opposition dead fastness and so with that being said i did not realize when i picked out perseverance i thought i was just going to be persevering with my weight loss and my mental health and going on an upward trend to i mean a downward trend of losing the weight and i was um going in a downward direction until about april of this year um, and then I've gained a subsequent amount back. And I will be telling you how much I've gained of it and a little bit later in the video. So, i like to tell you a story. As you well know, my mental health started taking a decline in the end of February. And took a decline all the way up until about June where it started heading back in the positive direction. Well, in April, I had three medication changes back to back. I had one at one facility, one at another facility right after that. And then I come home, seeing my mental health doctor, and they made a third medication change. Now, I am a seasoned mental health patient. And in my opinion, I feel like that was very dangerous to undergo that many medication changes in a month. And subsequently, I've had one more medication change since that third one. And altogether, I've had about six medication changes at least since January 1 of 2021. Um... I do not think it's healthy, and I do think it's quite dangerous, um, although I don't, <clears throat> excuse me, I don't have a choice when I go in these facilities, they do what they're going to do, and you pretty much have to go along with it, and then when you get back home to your regular doctor they normally change the medicine back or to something else depending on what's going on and so i had all this happen within a month well then so we noticed that my weight started picking up in april looking back so what we did not know at the time is as the weight was going down my medication was staying the same well as i was going down my medication probably should have been tidying down with me we feel like that there was either too much medicine in my system at one point and not enough medicine in my 
system at other point and that kind of sent me on this yo-yo medicine effect that it caused me to not only gain weight in the end but has uh affected my health poorly so we feel like that as my weight goes down this next time that i need to be monitored um and being seen by the doctor more frequently um i am being seen by my mental health professional every couple of weeks so that is i am being monitored there but i feel like that i am going to uh talk with them and let them know you know i'm on this weight loss journey even though i've gained all this weight back at this point i'm in the process of trying to reverse it and to lose the weight back all to help monitor me and adjust my medicines accordingly so that I don't have this problem and start yo-yo weight gaining, weight loss, and back and forth as a result of my mental health meds and not as a diet or exercise change. Now, I have talked about my sleep in... Um, detail so I'm not going to go back into the whole deal of my sleep pattern and how that affected my weight and that caused me to gain weight because I was unable to exercise and I was unable to develop new habits because exercise habits because I was working on other habits at the time and you can't really do everything at once even though you might want to it's just normally unrealistic and unattainable and unrealistic to be successful in both habit changes at once so uh i have gained weight i've gained 17 i think it's 17 pounds yeah i've gained 17 pounds of the 20 pounds that i'd lost or a little over i think i got lost about 22 or something pounds but it doesn't really matter at this point i've gained at least 17 of the pounds back i am down three pounds from the original weight of 373 where i started in april of last year so um it is a little frustrating to have gained that much weight um i really feel like my food habits have not really, like, they haven't been the best, but they haven't been the worst they could be. And with the lack of exercise, pretty much in the combination of things that have gone on, it has not been to my, um, it has not been to a deficient weight loss a sufficient weight loss trend to go down it's kind of been the opposite way i am trying to make lots of changes in my diet area kind of all at once but i'm only trying to do um my exercise habit one at a time i am trying to start back walking every day although i did not walk today i'm shooting this video actually on monday so i did not exercise this morning i am hoping to get back in the swing of things in the morning so i'm just having to give myself grace and um just do the best I can. So, uh, non kill victories. I have continued to drink the sparkling water and the use of the, the water app. I'm about a month into using the water app consistently. So, I feel like that is a consistent change for me at this point. I don't have any health updates other than what I've already disclosed. I have disclosed that in three months, 
uh, after starting the weight gain in April, that I've gained 17 pounds, and I'm 3 pounds down from my top weight of 373 of last year. So, um, and my mental health, I am sleeping, even though I'm having weird dreams or nightmares, and... I have talked about how we feel like that I'm having the dreams as a result of like cleaning my mental health up, um, my mental health area up and working with my life coach. Um, they told me as long as I'm working on myself to probably expect to have the dreams or the nightmares at night until I stop working on myself for a while and the changes have kind of taken place and fell into place at that point. So, uh, my weekly weight loss game plan as far as what I have set up for myself to do this next week until next week or the next. Utilize phone apps. Use a Fitbit, which I'm not wearing today. I don't even think it's charged at this point today. Um, I do have a game plan as far as my Fitbit. Matthew is going to put me a USB port, uh electrical outlet near my bed the outlet needs to be changed out anyway is the little on the rickety side right now anyway and so he is going to change that at the end of the week and so i i'm planning on putting a shelf like just a little cheap little shelf over the outlet and keep my phone there and my Fitbit so that when I grab my phone in the morning I'll be like oh let's put the Fitbit on and I'm going to see if that will change my habit of wearing my Fitbit every day because I do think of wearing the Fitbit but normally it's too late I've done walk too much or whatever the deal is and it's just not useful because I haven't had it keep me on all day so walk five times a day in a I mean walk five days a week exercise an hour a day and i normally walk for about 30 minutes so if i walk for 30 minutes and do three 10 minute exercises throughout the day i feel like that is plenty of exercise to start with, uh, increase veggies at every meal and increase eating healthy feeling food to my eating plan. I have been watching YouTube videos and finding out what are some healthy options to fill in for my protein besides meat and nuts because nuts kind of irritate my stomach. So those are not very healthy for me in my case to eat or um to substitute other things and uh i may do a video on what the information i found about that so if you think that's a good idea and you would like to know the information i found please leave me a comment section in the comment section below um because I know lots of you are on weight loss journey and you may not be watching the same uh, influencers I watch or if you could recommend a uh, weight loss influencer on YouTube leave them in the comment section below I would love to follow them I am following most of y'all on y'all's weight loss journey and I try to keep up with them as the week goes on okay so my mental health game plan is to utilize my mental health phone app maintain my mental health appointment 
and to do mental health daily goals and track them daily. And I have been trying to be consistent with that. Although some of the goals I don't do every day. It's just more or less to get me in the habit of doing them on a consistent basis rather than doing them every day. Although I do have reminders and things of that nature. And so with that being said, this video was a little on the long side, but I do feel like that it was warranted and very productive video. And with that being said, dream big, Deidre Daily Dreamers. And remember, you can do it.